All right, so let's say you are mixing Taylor Swift's Mean and you want to compare it to another song that's on the radio or was on the radio. You come over here down to the bottom where it says reference, click that, and then click add reference. I think anywhere on this part right here you can click. And then WAV files, AIFF files, MP3, AAC, and FLAC can be loaded right in. Once it's loaded, you'll notice that there are different sections of the song. These are automatically generated by Ozone 9, and you can also tweak these by using the mouse scroll wheel after you click, and then zooming in, and then you can actually see how it turns to a hand. Move it over, just like that. These are called loop segments. And the things that I was just moving around are called region selector handles. If I want to add another reference song, just press the plus sign right here. And then I'll wait for it to load up. So another tab is open, click the tab. Again, it automatically generates these different regions, these different loops, and I can change them myself. I can also rename them. If you see where it says A, I can click that and call this pre-course one or whatever. Call this one course, if that's what it is, and then verse two, whatever the case may be. Another important control that you'll be using often is the gain, the volume right down here. You want to match this volume to the track that you are mastering. That way you don't have any issues with loudness. And if you want to be technical about it, use the meters over here on the right side. Click the I.O. button. Change the type to integrated loudness or maybe short-term loudness. Now here's the unfortunate part. The input meter is now based on what's coming from the reference so that if I adjust the gain slider, it will be changed. Watch. However, guess what? If I change the IO settings so that the type is one of the loudness averages, for example, integrate it, it won't show what the reference input is. It only displays the peak. Well, that's no good. Maybe I'll send the request in to Isotope and maybe there's an issue on there and I, I don't know, but all right, for now, you have to choose like K system or RMS. And then the idea again is just to look at these numbers side by side. Truth be told though, this adjustment may be best done with the ears as per the usual the way that you flip back between the song on your doll and your reference tracks is with this button right here when it's lit up you're playing your reference song when you click it and it's off it's playing the doll and while you're playing you can click the button and flip back and forth so you can compare the tracks very easily So you can either have other tracks from an EP or an album as your reference, or you can have music that you're trying to get close to as your reference tracks. It's just a quick and dirty way so that you don't have to have these tracks loaded on another track and then disable a bunch of processors. No, you just press this button while it's playing and it flips back and forth between the two very easily and set the volume using the slider. Easy peasy, right? And don't forget when you're finished, make sure you change the IO back to that. The other way to remove one of these tabs, let's say you have like 10 of them open, right click, choose remove track. And it's that simple. If you hit the X, it closes the one that you have open currently. I should mention that 
Each tab has its own gain setting. See, I can have this one really loud. I can have this one quieter. But I'll zero them out. And the final control of note is down here. Click select all if you want to reference the entire track. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions about this plugin or other parts of Ozone 9, feel free to ask in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and consider demoing Ozone 9 because I really like it. Whether it's the standard version or the advanced version, it's really an overall great plugin to have for any type of audio mixing or mastering situation.